Getting a start in farming requires you to take on new skills and a commitment to hard work. So where do you begin? Well, here in New Mexico, a special program helps students get their interest off the ground. These residents from the small New Mexico town of Chaparral are taking the first steps to acquire farming skills. Growing their own fruits and vegetables will not only benefit the economically disadvantaged community, but help overcome the challenge of getting fresh produce when the nearest supermarket is nearly an hour away. And so we've partnered with other community-based organizations here in Chaparral to, to start a uh, demonstration farm. Uh, as an educational model, we like to think of it as a full-blown research firm, and at least the community members do, and as a means of, of educating local residents about the types and crops and how to grow them. The training underway in Chaparral is being funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and taught through an extension program at New Mexico State University. It's locally known as El Solar. El Solar is a Spanish name for backyard garden. More than two dozen students at a time will work on this demonstration farm, learning a variety of skills from proper planting to efficient irrigation. Paul, how long has it taken you to get this far with the farm? Well, believe it or not, it's only been a, about a year and a half. They started to cultivate and work the land uh, late last summer, and we, we got in time to have a fall crop, uh, which turned out to be a, a pretty productive crop. About half this area they cultivated and now they've expanded it, doubled it, and uh, they hope to double it again, uh, again this fall and the next year and, and soon have the whole lot. Yeah, and, and that's what it looked like just a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. an area filled with yeah. mesquite yeah. and, and yeah. very barren yeah. land. Very, very, very much yeah. the desert, yes. And a huge part of this being as successful as it is, not only the volunteers, obviously, but this drip irrigation system that you're teaching people how to set up in their own farm or garden, correct? Yes, and we've used, we've relied on uh, the expertise of a, a number of individuals who have had experience with the drip, and, and it is, it's, it, it's, uh, we couldn't do this without a, without the drip system, just not enough water in the area to yeah. produce like this. Well, and, and you were pointing out to me earlier, obviously the chili will be fine because yeah. they thrive yeah. in the hot temperatures sure. and the sure. drier earth and as well as the tomatoes but yeah. you you don't get a stand of lettuce like this without the drip <laughs> irrigation system it's no, absolutely the, the beautiful. drip is very instrumental in, in keeping our, our leafy crops going this long and and of course we can provide shade as we need to as we've done with our radishes over there and and so yeah it, the drip is allows us too to provide a variety of crops and, and regulate the water on each of the crops you know watching the volunteers come in today it's impressive that you have people of all ages all walks of yeah, life yeah. everybody in here and they yeah. seem to really enjoy what they yeah. do and the and and the best part is it seems like they're all taking the skills away and applying it at home yeah it's fun that is quite uh, quite true the reward is to watch the people and their their engagement in the garden and in the whole learning process, yes. A number of extension instructors assist with the agricultural education efforts. First, you have to teach how to grow organic. And for them to see the process from planting all the way through selling the product. And more than anything, to teach them so that they can go and do it at their home. One person who has benefited greatly from the course is Esperanza Briones. She's turned her property into a farm that's filled with fresh produce. So tell me about uh, the skills that you've learned in the urban farm. Que le diga de las habilidades que ha aprendido del solar. I've learned to conserve water with this irrigation system. And it looks like it's paid off for the family because not only do you have fruits and vegetables that you feed your family, but you also sell a lot of what you grow. I do sell a little bit, and my husband helps me a lot. So my biggest satisfaction is that I can provide for my family. Younger apprentice farmers are also active in the program. The thing that I enjoy the most is probably helping our community do something with our land that we have here. And what I enjoy most is planting the plants and watching them grow so later on we can eat them. You're going to take all this to the farmer's market in Las Cruces, mostly? Yeah. 
Another aspect of the training helps the new farmers see opportunities for marketing the produce they won't use themselves. You have to be able to, to market your product. You have to be able to you know, plan ahead in terms of what you're going to market. And, and it's not simply a matter of growing it and getting rid of it. You know, there has to be a little bit of a business plan in place. The farming skills learned here provide not only the opportunity for economic benefits, but also show how agriculture can benefit the entire community. Instructors here hope programs like this can be successful in other areas, giving residents new opportunities to improve their diets and take a step towards self-sustainability. Ideally, we'd see more and more individuals that have the desire to uh, start to grow the fruits and, and, and uh, vegetables on a scale that they can market to local grocers and or create in their own farmer's market. That would certainly be an uh, indication of success in Chaparral to have a vibrant farmer's market right here in Chaparral.